Good morning, my name is Denise. Welcome to Suncoast Crafting. While working on the colorful retro cat from Neilden, I used new diamond painting accessories I bought from Trujury on Amazon. Did I buy these tools because I need more diamond painting accessories? Do I ever need any more diamond painting accessories? Please define need. Let's look at the tools. I like the new tools from Trujury. The set was $15.99 on Amazon. There's a big diamond art painting tray. The big diamond art painting tray didn't fit well in my small hand while I was working on the kit, but I did use it to catch stray diamonds as I was pouring the, the leftover diamonds back into the bags. The kit also included six different colored small square trays. The small square trays fit perfectly in my hand. The trays each have a hole in the end to help funnel the leftover diamonds back into the bags. But I felt that using the corners of the trays works just as well as using the hole in the tray. The colorful retro floral cat was a confetti filled kit. I kept seeing spaces that I missed when I was placing the diamonds. Usually, I don't leave out more than one color at a time. Between personal clumsiness and four cats in the house, I have visions of diamonds falling into the carpet, never to be seen again. This time, I pulled out several trays. The Trujury square trays are deeper than the green ones that come with each kit. The deeper trays allowed me to access several colors at a time, which made the whole confetti-filled pattern a lot easier. The Trujury tools also came with two diamond art painting pens. The diamond painting pens with the thicker bodies and the metal tips were easier to use and more comfortable to hold than some of my skinnier pens. I switched pens several times while working on the floral cat kit. Sometimes using a lighter pen was easier, but the comfortable grips on the new pens were great and I felt like I could diamond paint for a longer stretches of time. My hand didn't hurt, cramp up, or get tired even after several hours diamond painting. The tools came with six colorful metal painting tips. The metal tips are sturdy, they will last a long time, they feel more solid and sturdy than the plastic ones that I usually use. The tools came with a straightener. At the end, I swapped out the metal tip I was using to diamond paint for the metal straightener. This worked well, and I used the larger angled plastic straightener, which also did its job well. The tools also came with a diamond art painting roller. I don't usually use a roller, but since it came with the kit, I tried it out. It has a nice heavy feel. None of my drills were popping out as I worked on the floral cat kit, so I don't know if I saw a lot of difference when I used this particular roller. The other accessories, the blue wax, cleaning brush, and plastic spoon were good. I don't usually use a cleaning brush, roller, or spoon. If you use these accessories when you diamond paint, then the tools in this kit work exactly as they should. I'm glad I bought this kit with these accessories. It's a good mix of tools that I actually use and tools that I'll try out from time to time. And at $15.99, the kit is a decent value without having a lot of extra items that I'll store forever without using. I'll be using these tools from Treasury for a long time. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to working on more projects that you are interested in. Please like and subscribe and join us again for Suncoast Crafting.